<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome Hi. and thank you for coming today. It's such a beautiful day and such a glorious day and we're in a celebration here. But before we start the celebrations, I just need to ask a question. Is there anybody or is there anything that you know of that has any impediment against this proposed marriage? <laughs> <Before>. <laughs> if you have something to say, you must say it now or forever hold your tongue. And there's a Greek word for it that says, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody. Right, let's just pray together. Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for this glorious day that you've given. Thank you, Lord, for an opportunity that we have so that we can come into your presence and to bind together those which you have brought together. Father, thank you for those that have come to visit, those that have come to witness. I pray that you will bless them and bless this day and bless everything so that you are glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There's a scripture that I want to give you, the, the two of you. It's a very simple scripture. It's in John 15, verse 16. And it says this, Jesus says, You did not choose me, but I chose you. So that's the first thing. You didn't choose him. It's not about what you choose. He's already chosen you. But he says this, and he says he's empowered you to bear fruit and to keep on bearing fruit. Now, what is bearing fruit? Bearing fruit is being in love. That's the greatest fruit that we have is love. Love conquers everything. There's nothing that love cannot fix. I don't care what you do wrong. I don't care what he does wrong. I don't care where he's been, <laughs> what he's done. Love can conquer it. And this is my encouragement to you today is to understand that love can conquer everything, no matter what happens. Guys, it's going to be fantastic days. It's going to be horrible days. It's the first 60 years that's difficult, after that it's easy. <laughs> but in between that, life happens. And as we enjoy life, this is a journey. As we enjoy life, with the emphasis on joining it, there's not a 50-50 partnership. It's 100% all the way. You, uh, I, I am going to die today so that we can live. I and I no longer exist, but we exist together with those little two ones. And so I just want to encourage you with that. Don't think that you've got any rights. You don't. You have a bed to sleep on. Be grateful for that. The rest of it you build into your dog's compound because that's where you're going to spend quite a lot of time. <laughs> that's just a joke. <laughs> so, <clears throat> guys, be faithful to one another. And just remember something, that today is a very special day in your life. And so we're going to go over now by the binding of the hands. It is a very simple ceremony, but it has so much meaning. So I've asked Bronwyn to help us with that. Now what it means is the following. When two people are bound together, if one falls, the other one is still standing. If it is with a threefold cord, that means it's you and you and God. Nobody can break that. And that's what you want in this binding. You want to make sure that you're bound forever. This is until death do us part. This is not until tomorrow and then we decide, well, you know, we like computers, we're not compatible. No, we are. We are compatible. And so I'm going to ask Bronwyn to come forward now. And then as she binds this, then give her your right hand and your left hand. Right hand and the left hand, there we go. Now as she binds the two hands together, let no man put this asunder. Let no man try and put this out. Let no man try and break this cord. Because what God has put together, no man can break up. And this is my prayer for you today. That as you are bound by that, that ribbon there, that you will remi remember and remind one another that there's no way out. There's no second chance. There's no another one. This is it. This is the end of the line. Okay. All right. So, Dean Julian... Stop. Do you take here with you today? Wendy Ann Hayden, you take her to be your lawful wedded wife. 
Yes, I did. You're very really fast to say you haven't heard what I said. <laughs> Are you prepared to give her your credit card? Yes, I am. <laughs> and do you also take and vow that you will care for her, protect her, provide for her until death do us part? Yes, I do. And then, Wendy Ann Hayden, do you take here with you today, Dean Julian Stockton, to be your legal, lawful husband? Encouraging to love him. He needs a lot of mother love. <laughs> He's a boy. He needs a lot of love. And to care for him, protect him until death is possible. And by the powers vested in me, you may now kiss your wife. And she's going to give you vows. You guys are going to do your own vows now. <laughs> but the powers vested in me, I can now announce you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the vows. Okay, so I start. Yeah, bring those rings. Oh, he's got a speech. I'm gonna sit if you don't mind. With an open heart, as a mirror of my love, my love and my best friend, I take you as my wife. I vow to risk everything for you, to give over my life for you, to be the man you love. I always learn from you. You teach me how to love. You know how to be a better man. You are some of the best parts of me. My gypsy, my queen, my wife. I give you, my, I give you everything I have and everything I am. I love you and I love you. <laughs> my dearest Dino. I remember seeing you for the first time, both so helplessly broken, yet we locked eyes and I felt butterflies. I got nervous, which so wasn't me. Later I saw you sitting alone and I asked if I could join you. Pulled up a chair, sat cross legs and divulged my whole life story to you, which I hadn't spoken to anyone in two weeks. I knew then that you were it for me. The sneaky kiss in the lift was this, was, was just sealed the deal. <laughs> Thank you for loving me the way you do. Thank you for the uh, daily morning dances, giggles and jiggles. Thank you for my tea and cereal every morning. Thank you for standing by me and protecting me and believing in me and reminding me of who I am in those awfully dark days I lost myself. I'm eternally grateful. You're the most amazing daddy to our beautiful girls. God totally knew what he was doing when he blessed me with you, Eden Ray and Willow. I'm beyond excited to grow old with you and live out our dreams together. I know love because I am in love. A love that tells me I'm home. No matter where I am in the world, as long as I'm with you, I'm home. So I love you. Okay, so let's just take hands. So those two hands where you put your rings on. Let's just pray over them. Father, we thank you for this blessing. We thank you for the consummation of this marriage. We thank you, Lord, that they have sealed it now with the rings. We thank you that we can do it here in the open, under the air, where you are present, Lord. And we thank you that you will make this prosperous marriage. That you will be with them, that you will protect them, provide for them, care for them, and lead them the way that you want them to be. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Okay, so we're just going to sign the book there at the back, and then uh, we're done.
Hello, my babe. Wendy, Dino, congratulations. Sending you all my love from Rob and I. Have a wonderful, wonderful wedding day. Love Dino, you both. I want to wish you a very big congratulations on your wedding. And I wish you all the very best for the future. We had a fantastic night. So cheers to you guys.